What's up, everybody? My name is Leigh Hua. Welcome to the Super Female channel. I am a whole e variety content creator, host of podcasts across worlds, and I stream on twitch.tv slash Leigh Hua Today, we are reviewing how E-Realist here rebuilt the kingdom. And if you like anime reviews, don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell so you can be notified on the next upload. And if you would like to support the channel, we got Patreon and channel membership. Link to those are below. We are reviewing how a realist hero rebuilt the kingdom episode 6. This episode gave us a lot of information about the military stuff. Now in the beginning of the episode, there was Soma kind of explaining about a freedom. And I've been noticing that Soma has been doing this. And usually when Soma's explaining something about the kingdom, it's sort of the theme for the episode. So what Soma was explaining was the military stuff. There is the army, land, navy, ocean, water, and air force, air. So he was talking about that there is three dukes and each one is in charge of a type of military force. So land, water, air. And then he was talking about how the monarch has a forbidden army. So the three dukes, they have their own military force, peoples and such. If the king or monarch, because queen, is like a tyrant and is not doing great the three dukes would take it upon themselves to take down that monarch and to fight against those three dukes the king or queen has their forbidden army now this episode that had a girl with who was like this person she was talking about that so she's part of the forbidden army and she was having an argument with her childhood friend who was going to side with a duke that is Kind of against Soma. So the three dukes, they're not really talking to Soma right now. I think they're not accepting him. And then the girl's friend, his name is Halbert, I believe. He's going to side with Duke Carmine. Carmine or Carmine? I think it's Carmine. If anyone has the right pronunciation, please let me know in the comments. He's going to side with him because he's like, well, all the other nobles are doing this. And... Da, 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 da. Like he's totally following, but then the beast girl, who's a fox, her name is Kaede, she's like telling him, No, you can't side with him, don't. And why is the Duke doing this? Why are the nobles going to go against King Soma? Why is there going to be like a civil war? Don't we don't want a civil war because we have neighboring countries? So she's talking about that, and then Soma has like a flashback of learning about the naming countries and how four are neutral, I believe, and one is hostile. And if there's ever a civil war in Elfrida, then they're weak, and then that hostile country is gonna like try to take over and such. So it's like, dang. So I had an idea that this was a really heavy conversation. So they were all brought to another room, Juna, Aisha, Visha, Soma, Kaede, and Halbert. They're all brought to another room to continue this conversation. Kaede knew who Soma was, right? But Halbert totally did not recognize him just because he was wearing glasses, I think. But then Halbert, oh, he was hilarious. At first he's like, who is this? Is this an acquaintance of yours, Kaede? And Kaede's like, no, not really. And then Halbert was getting kind of hostile, like he was jealous. And then he was telling some of the acquaintances or strangers shouldn't interrupt their conversation and such or get in their business. And then he was kind of getting heated till Aisha was like, calm the F down. Like she totally apprehended him. It was hilarious. And then finally, some was like, Ooh, I can finally use this line. And it was a line saying like, don't you recognize who I am? And then Halbert looked at him more and he's like, oh, shit. After Halbert realizes who Soma is, Soma asks them, okay, what's your guys' relationship? And Kaede and Halbert say that they're childhood friends. Soma follows up with, okay, Halbert, do you realize what's going to happen once the Civil War starts? She's going to be with the Forbidden Army or you're going to be with one of the Dukes. You guys are going to be fighting each other. You can't save her if she is in trouble or she dies. Can you live with that? And then he notices how Halbert's like wavering. And then he just tells Halbert, you know, you need to figure out what you desire and what you're doing. Who are you doing this for? And this just, we can literally see Halbert mature, grow. 
and find a purpose in that scene. Then it jumps to another scene with Zuma and Alicia continuing their date. Then they start talking about the engagement between them. And Zuma still talks about how like it's going to be temporary after a few years. He's going to like leave the throne and give it back to Alicia. And Alicia's like, well, I don't mind the engagement. And then Zuma's like, are you sure? She's like, well, you're like the best candidate to be king anyways. And then Zuma reveals that he wants to marry for love. And when I was reacting, I was like totally thinking that Zuma wants to hear Alicia say that she likes him. And Alicia wants to be with him. She likes him. But she's not seeing it. And that's what's making Zuma like, oh yeah, you don't have to be with me. I don't want to force you to be with me. But Alicia's like, but I don't mind. And he's like, but do you like me? She hasn't said it yet. Then it jumps to the scene with Soma and Alicia at back to the castle on the balcony, I think. And they're showing Soma's living portuguese. You know the thing that he was sewing in another episode where he made like a little samurai doll and he's controlling it with the living portuguese and it's fighting and such. And someone was talking about how his skills got better and such. I guess they evolved or they did an upgrade because he's been using it so much for writing documents. I'm thinking that's going to be used for another episode, guaranteed. I'm thinking it's going to be used for battle and such. While Soma and Lucia were talking, someone came in to tell them that Halbert cut it and Halbert's dad wanted an audience with them. So the scene changes and we see that Halbert got beaten up and it was funny because Soma said another funny line. He's like, ooh, your good looks got a boost. <laughs> <laughs> there was a lot of humor in this episode. I loved it. Halbert's dad found out how Halbert conducted himself in front of Soma. He beat Halbert up, reprimanding him, punishing him. So it's like, oh, so you do know that what Halbert did was a no-no. And you guys went straight to King Soma. That's pretty cool. Like it shows that Halbert's dad has some integrity. He has honor. He's a noble. Besides that, Halbert said pretty much did not want Halbert to be punished anymore by the king. And I think Halbert's dad just doesn't want his area that he's in charge of to be punished either. And then someone's like, nope, you're good, you're fine. And then it turns to Kaede. And because how Kaede was explained to Halbert how the whole situation is going to be with, with civil war, neighboring countries and such, Soma actually liked Kaede for that. So he promotes her to be a staff officer. And then to, I guess, keep Halbert safe and with Kaede, he wants to transfer Halbert to the Forbidden Army and be under Kaede so he can learn stuff from her and whatnot. And I thought that was cute because Ever since we saw Halbert and Kaede together, we totally can tell that they're together. And I think Soma was doing this to like keep them together so they don't have to fight each other and whatnot. Which I like. Oh, I thought that was so cute. And then we saw um, Kaede being like all shy and whatnot. But anyways, back to Soma. Halbert's dad was actually there to talk to Soma and it was important information that he didn't want anyone else to hear so he asked someone to like clear out the room and it was just soma and halbert's dad and it turns out that this inf information was really important so important that soma was saying like this is heavy information and they just left the episode like that another cliffhanger another one Mm -hmm. Every time when they have like a re reveal or important information it's a cliffhanger the only one that wasn't like such a big cliffhanger was the last episode, in my opinion. Now the parts I thought that were really interesting was when they were talking about the three dukes. I thought it was really interesting how this whole nation set up a system where in case the king was a tyrant, the three dukes would like go after them and such sort of like protecting the people and whatnot. But this one is interesting because it's like the three dupes, they can go after the king on their own. Like they don't have to go after Soma altogether. That's what it seems like because 
we only know what Duke Carmi wants to do, right? The army. When we ever, whenever we saw the navy part, uh, we always saw her sort of getting into and whatnot. I think she's still uh, assessing Soma, and we don't know so much about the air force part. I'm thinking the next episode is going to be about them and she was like what they're like and what they're thinking and whatnot. That's my my hypothesis, my theory. Another part that's interesting is when they were talking about the neighboring countries. The Hasa one would totally jump on this whole civil war thing if it happens. I'm just wondering if the civil war is actually going to happen. I hope not because Elfriedan they need help <laughs> they don't need a civil war because with war there needs to be some money for you know the weapons and to pay the soldiers and whatnot I was like war takes up a lot of money it really does and this country doesn't need it so the dukes whoever wants to go against soma and whatnot they shouldn't if they really care about this country they should not go with a civil war like seriously but besides that i'm just wondering if we're going to interact with the neighboring countries and such i don't know how that's going to happen because i feel like this whole series is just going to focus in el freedom because there's just a lot of stuff going on i didn't even think about the other dukedoms going against Soma and like civil wars and whatnot. But I am curious if Soma's gonna think about doing some type of deals with the neighboring countries to help each other, especially economically. Mm-hmm. Sell them some stuff, yeah. So do some advertising. Like okay. me helping you helps me kind of thing. Another thing I liked about this episode was Halber and Kaede. These were people that were not the main cast. And when I say main cast, I mean Soma, Alicia, and the talented people. These are citizens of a freedom. We got to see two different races showcase their friendship. They started as childhood friends, and we don't know what they are right now, but it totally seems like they're a couple. Because when Soma kind of confronted them and they were brought to another room, but it was so worried for Halbert. She was like touching him. She was like, oh no, please don't arrest him. He's not bad. Like, I know you heard overheard our conversation. It was like so cute. I really like seeing this interaction between them and it made him more real. Like these are legit people. They're not just NPCs. I don't want to call them NPCs, but you know what I mean? Like sometimes in these isekai shows and whatnot, there's like these side characters and they're just there to, you know, progress the story and such. But no, Halbert and Kaede, we can see that we're going to interact with them more. They have families, they have worries, they have love. You know what I mean? And I'm hoping we're going to see more characters like these. It's sort of... Along with the world building, there's also character building. And I want to get to know other people in this nation because it's getting pretty interesting here. Mm -hmm. And the last thing I want to talk about from this episode is the humor. We're going to start from the beginning because there was a lot throughout this episode. In the beginning, when Soma took them to another room, with Kaede, Halbert, Aisha, Juna, Alicia, Kaede recognized Soma, right? And Halbert was like oblivious. He's like, who is this guy? And Kaede's like, oh, please don't hurt him. You know, she's touching him. She's like, like, oh, my baby, do not hurt him kind of thing. That was funny. And then when Halbert was like kind of getting angry because he didn't know who Soma was and he thought Soma was like butting in their conversation and whatnot and he was gonna get a little bit more aggressive and then Aisha was like calm down mofo and then they showed Juna hiding a weapon behind her back it was actually a cooking tool but she could use it as a weapon that was funny also and then when they had that conversation between Soma and Lisha and then towards the end of the conversation uh, Aisha was there, right? Well, she was sleeping and then she woke up during that conversation and she's like, so how long do I need to pretend to be asleep? 
<laughs> I thought that was really funny. It's like she woke up during our conversation and just out of consideration, she pretended to be asleep some more and she was getting tired of it because she was overhearing everything. <laughs> Like I said before, I thought this episode was really good. There was talk about politics, there was humor, there was world building, and character building. Episode 6 of How a Realist Here Rebuilt the Kingdom was great. If there's anything that I forgot to mention that you want to be in the video, please let me know in the comments. If you haven't seen this episode, what's your impression from this review? If you want to talk outside of YouTube, there's a Discord. Link is in the description. I also stream on twitch.tv slash If you watch these videos, you'd like to stop by the stream. Outside of YouTube and Twitch, I host podcasts across worlds where we talk about anime, manga, and other things we're interested in. If you like podcasts like that, link to the podcast is in the description. We're available on all platforms. Other than that, my name is Lehua, and this is the Superfina channel reviewing how a realist hero rebuilt the kingdom, episode 6. Hope you guys like this video, and I'll see you on the next one. Laters! Huge thanks to my Patreons and channel members for making this video possible. If you also want to be part of the Superfina party, you can click over here or become a channel member. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss the next video. And I do stream live on Twitch every Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. Hope to see you guys there and I will see you on the next video. This bump.